I will be talking about the recent announcement on the latest updates happening in the world of Gemini. Yes, very recently Google updated Gemini 2.5 Flash and Flashlight release. This model has been there for some time earlier part of the year, but with new announcements happening around and buzzing the corner. If you are not using this, you are seriously missing out a lot of the AI capabilities world of Gen AI. Hi, I am Pritham. This is my channel. I talk about AI and the latest trends. And in case you are excited about the Google agent space, I recently gave a TED talk. Just check out in the description below and get a hang of agent space. And I also wrote a book about how to demystify generative AI and AI for everyday people. 2.5 and 2.5 flashlights has been there for some time now, and it has been quite insane rollouts from Google. Multimodal capabilities, right from image, text, unstructured data, long context windows, 1 million, and is supported with both flash and flashlight with recent enhancement, including the powerhouse 2.5 Pro, Context caching, very important. Enhanced tooling support like Google grounding to enhance your data with and avoid hallucinations and code execution. And the best part, it gives you citation with URL context. And many such capabilities which you see and has been continuously enhanced by Google in Gemini 2.5 Flash and Flash Lite. The way to get started with Flash and Flash Lite is you might not see in Gemini, but there are a bunch of hacks where you can need to go and get started easily. The easiest way to start with Gemini Flash 2.5 Flash or Flash Lite is with aistudio.google.com. We'll hop over to that so that you can pick the model and choice of your model. And these models are powerhouse. Don't underestimate if it is light or flash because this gives you all the capabilities of Gemini, which you are looking out for real world use cases. So once you go to aistudio.google.com, you can come over to chat and hit this one of this model and then click Gemini. You must see here a bunch of options here. So you can see the latest uh, flash latest, the new one which happened and also flashlight latest. These are the two recent updates happened on September 25th, 2025. And you might be wondering like, there is a cutoff date of January 2025 to the knowledge where the large language models like Gemini has been trained on, not to worry. There are different ways you can update the model with grounding. And one search is out of the box, which is provided in AI Studio. Just you need to enable it and you will see that. So let's say you check Gemini Lite latest. And here you can come over. System instruction is quite important. You can set the tone and style for the model instruction. I would strongly recommend to use it. And then temperature. You can increase the temperature, the value. You can increase the temperature. You get more degree of randomness and all those capabilities if you want. So you have some, some thinking capability, thinking budget and thinking mode on, and this is available from 2.5 series. And what it does is it gives you a powerful capability to think because all the 2.5 series and 2.0 series, which you see today with Google Gemini are thinking models and reasoning models. And they are called thinking models because they significantly improve the reasoning and provide multi-step planning activities, making them highly effective. Your more complex tasks as coding, advanced mathematics, data analysis, so forth, so on. So once you turn it on, it gives guides the model on the parameter on the token to use to get the response. The higher the token count, it allows for more detailed reasoning and it's more beneficial for complex tasks. For in case you are just experimenting, I would say you can even turn it off and make it zero. It's up to you so that you can save money on the cost, right? So let's get started on this. And thinking budget, remember, is supported on 2.5 Pro. Flash 2.5, 2.5 flashlight. You can see here thinking budget. I will minimize it, switch it off. For example, here, and I was talking about this grounding the data. In, in, we saw that some time back, the model is trained on January 2025 data. That is the last update. And it happens with all the model, nothing wrong in it. So what you can do is you just turn it the uh, grounding with Google search so that it can give you the latest data. I will not hallucinate and set up the URL context. It will provide you the citations and link where it is getting the data from. So that's the power we are looking at. So what you can do uh, is let's experiment. Make this session more interesting and fun loving for you. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build a snake app. Uh, if you have used, if you have coming from millennials world like me, you might have seen the snake app. Uh, I'm very fond of playing these games, right? Is This can be built without any knowledge of coding, which is to take a lot amount of time in the initial those days, right? So what I'm trying to do is in a nutshell, I'm trying to build this snake app, HTML and JavaScript uh, with arrow keys to move the snake here and there. 
and the game is over when the snake hits the wall and the snake keeps on growing once it hits the food and display the score. So let's start this. So it's quite fast while it is giving out HTML, JavaScript, CSS, all embedded in the one file. That's it. And there is also a different way to build this app, uh, which if time permits today, we'll see that. But for now, the time being, we can go here and play this preview button. So here you go. The snake app is there and I'll play again. I lost it again. So let's try my luck. So here you go. I keep on building this score. Okay. So again, zero. So probably I'm not good at game, but that is also a different way to build this app. If you want to do that, you can click and click this build. It is the same, but I want to show you here how easy it is even in the chat window to get you started and writing the prompts. So let me do this insanely fast, something like the compare mode. So if you want to compare the two models side by side, AI Studio gives you that capability as well. For example, let's say you are trying to build the app or something like 2D temple game using Java and HTML. Let's say, for example, so you can see flashlight is quite insanely fast. And, and, and similarly, uh, flash is also quite good at speed. So you get the better idea, like how much tokens being used. For example, here you see 1884 tokens being used. What are the output tokens? and the total number of tokens on the cost you want to pay to Gemini or Google rather. Similarly, similarly here you can see on the flashlight, the number of input tokens, output tokens, and total tokens. So you get a fair bit of idea. What is your consumption is going to look out vis-a-vis -vis when you are using one model versus the other. So let's move on to the one interesting capability called natively multimodal stream, right? So what you can do is share your screen. Hi. You are there, Gemini, to help me out today? Yes, I am. What can I help you with? Yeah, what is this slide I'm showing you here? Can you guide me? Certainly. The slide you're showing is from Google Slides and features information about the Gemini 2.5 and Flash Light models. It includes details about multimodal understanding, long context windows. Gemini, con Thank you. So here you can you're see. You're welcome. And the way you can interact with multimodal live API with speech to speech, right? That's the power you see here. So I'll give you some bonus tip here. So I'll talk about flow. So more often you struggle to create frame by frame or scene by scene series, right? And you struggle to make a more lengthy form of video. So flow is the AI, the new AI filming tool from Google built for creatives and designed for next wave of storytelling. It is custom designed with Google's advanced AI models with VO, Imagine, and Gemini, you name it, you have it with all the state-of-the-art models in generative AI models with exceptionally prompt adherence and stunning cinematic outputs that excels at physics and realism. So let's try that, one of the prompt here. To do that, to navigate to the flow, you have to go to labs.google.com. You don't have to worry about the link. I will paste it in the description for you get to get you to easy access. So it talks about the prompt expander. In one of my earlier video, I have talked about how to use Flow and VO, which can be a powerful combination. Do check out in the description below if you want to get excited with the powerful combination of VO and Flow. But here I will expand on the new capabilities which Flow has got. The first one, first, the custom prompt expander. It gives you the power to enhance the prompt. We'll see that in a demo. Image editing with Nano Banana, and also never lose your track with your favorites and it is phasing out VO2. Imagine VO2 had the, the lack of fast and VO3 has this audio capability right built in the video, right? So let's hop on to the new project. For example here, so what I will do is I will go to flow. I will start a new project here to make it easy for everyone. And I will check the text to video button. So let me, so this is my prompt here. I'm trying to generate a man standing on the mountain clean mountain scenario and trying to add the fine grain details. But what I feel the prompt can be better expanded, right? So here it gives you the options, which you see in the demo. Let me zoom it out. Cinematic, film noir, action -er. So, So let me do this action figure. So the, if you look at the output, it is quietly, amazingly, insanely great. It gives you fine grain details, which can make your image outstandingly good. Right, so here I'm trying to use VO3 fast and you can pick and choose the landscape or portrait mode and how many number of outputs you need. I will keep it simple. Let's say two for the time being and 
click things. The change, the, dis, the difference between VO3 fast and VO quality is VO3 fast is a lighter weight model, which has audio inbuilt along with the video. And VO3 is the quality grade model. Uh, if you're talking about productionalizing your applications, it is very best for your in that those use case scenarios. But if you're looking for a POC prototyping or random experimentation, VO3 fast gives you insanely amazing results. Let's check that. And I have clicked it. It will take some time. I'll come back once the video is ready. So the output has come and let's try out and play it out. Looks good. Probably I will go with the second one if I have to build a thing by scene. Do that. You add to the scene and then get started. So that's the way you can expand, right? So probably you come here, extend, and probably if you provide an input for the second scene, probably now he has conquered the mountains and then he is moving along and talking to the people in the street or parting in the night. So you can build that story frame by frame and make it a long video. Thank you, everyone. This was a very fast Tech Byte series from my side to give you the recent updates on Gemini 2.5, the insane capabilities. If you are not using it, you are missing out a lot. Thank you and stay tuned to my channel.